Hello everyone! So whenever I don't know what to make for a video, I go to my dear old friend's scrolla box. They always bring me comfort and a little hint of discomfort since you never know what lurks inside. Anyway, scrolla box is a monthly subscription box filled with delicious art supplies. I was super happy to see Annika Landberg as the featured artist. I recognized her style right away. She is a fellow Swede and she makes incredible cute art as you can see. And we have super flimsy paper which is bleed proof 75 grams marker paper. I don't get why they have to make the bleed proof paper so freaking thin, that is why I never use it. The sheets got a little dented in the box it seems like sticker and the list of all the supplies, a little sweet and they have actually written on the supply card that the candy in this box is suitable for both vegetarians and vegans and I think it is really cool that they give you that information. A Pigma Micron PN pen and it sounds like I'm saying pen in a really weird accent when pronouncing PN. Anyway, the pen has like a magic semi-flexible kind of nib which should be more durable than the regular micron nibs. To be honest, I always ruin the more finer micron nibs because I'm super heavy-handed. Gonna carve that line into the paper. Then we have a jelly roll 10 pn and I'm gonna stop now. I used the jelly rolls a lot before but they aren't always working that great for me but perhaps this one that apparently has a bigger nib will work better, I don't know, we'll see. And next we have this cute little package and look how adorable the colors are inside, so summery and delicious. These are the Spectra AD or AD markers which I have tried before. I don't remember if I like them or not so I will find out again today. But they have a brush nib so they are already on the plus side in my book and a little chisel nib on the other side. Also, this is super confusing if you're used to Copic markers because Copic has the grey line marking the brush nib side of the marker, but here it is on the chisel nib side for some reason and I'm gonna use the wrong side a lot, I'm sure of it. Then lastly we have the theme or scrawler challenge, which is a prompt that they give you to create something from with the supplies in the box, and this month's challenge is Woodland Creatures. Alright, so before I test out the supplies, it is time for a catwalk art, art tip. tip. Usually you can use both sides of a paper, but there is also paper types that the sides are different from each other, like with marker paper for example. I think that bleed proof paper is coated with some kind of magical protection thing on the back side, which isn't working very well to draw on, trust me, I've tried it. But how do you know which side is which, especially if you just get loose? sheets like this, but what you can do is to feel the edge of the paper between your fingertips. One of the side often feels more smooth and the other side has like a little little ridge on the edge. It can be very subtle but trust me it is there. And the side with the ridge is usually the back side, the, the side that you don't want to draw on. I don't know if it has something to do with how the paper is cut in the factory, but this is a method I often use to figure out which side is which without having to draw on the paper. So there you go, end of catwalk art tip. I have to say that this feels like one of the nicer scrawler boxes in a while and I do enjoy most of them, like 99%, but this one seems right up my alley with the brush markers and gel pen and fine liner. And the theme is also perfect for me, I love drawing animals and little creatures, so I think this will be fun. So woodland creatures, I was thinking back and forth and I thought I'd make like a little scene with some different animals like fox, deer, hedgehog and mouse and such and I made a super cute little sketch that I really liked but then I thought maybe it is a bit too boring or at least a little predictive so I thought I'd come up with some new creatures, something that perhaps my cat explorer character would meet on one of his adventures. 
So having mushrooms on the head is nothing new if you are a Super Mario fan, but it is a little different from the creatures I normally draw. I often like to draw horns and antlers on things, and I think they are like rodents, perhaps related to squirrels. They have quite a poofy tail and long ears, just like squirrels, and I would imagine them being quite annoying to be honest. Not that they are mean-spirited in any way, they are just very intense and quick, and for some reason they like to collect round things like coins and buttons and fingerings and such, and they would rob you on any of it if they had a chance. And if you would look for them, they would be quite hard to spot since they are very good at hiding, as you can imagine. Now afterwards, I wish I made a different kind of mushroom hat on the other creature, but oh well, something to keep in mind till next time, I guess. I didn't use the marker paper that came with the box since my self-diagnosed OCD wouldn't allow me since it was all wrinkly, so I'm using Bristol board instead, which works great for markers too. It isn't bleed proof though, but it is much much thicker. I did actually really enjoy this box and I think the markers were okay to work with. The terracotta brown was a little too opaque or saturated for my liking, but it still fitted for this piece I think. The markers were super juicy, and I have a very vague memory that last time I tried these markers I thought they were too dry, so maybe they have changed something since last time I tested them. I thought I would answer some of your comments. My AD market challenge video got a lot of new traffic lately and I might as well answer some of the questions and just highlight some of my favorites. So the first one. I hate you because you talk only yourself. Thanks for the critique, a bit harsh, but yeah, maybe I should invite more people to talk with me. Could be a bit annoying though when thinking of it, having a bunch of people talking all at once, but we'll see. Is anyone laughing off his or her voice? Since you seem to be confused if I am a he or her, I am definitely a her. Glad I could make you laugh, by the way. Take a shot every time she says colors. Don't drink an internet, my friend. It is already a mess as it is. The word is color, not color. Get it right, your voice sounds cringe. I am pretty sure it is the same word, my dude. The way she pronounces colors gets on my nerves, but she's very talented. Ah, thank you. Everybody knows that adding a compliment at the end of an insult makes everything okay. When she says colors, she says colors. Make up your mind, am I saying colors or colors? See zero lores. Cowlers. Callers. At this point I just think you're having a stroke. And one of my favorites... Did you draw that or buy it? <laughs> like I would draw anything on this channel. I just think it's super funny how I can drive people insane just by the way I pronounce one little word. It just tells me how much influence I have on some people. No, joking aside, I get way, way many more nicer comments than these lame salty ones. Like this one for example. For a beginner, you're awesome. And whoa. Joking aside, again, I'm super happy for all the lovely and encouraging comments I get all the time, and I truly appreciate all the support. This channel has grown a lot lately, and I'm so freaking grateful for that. Also, yes, I do read all of your comments, every single one of them. Also, let me know if you would like to hear me read more of your comments in a future video. So back to these little guys here, I thought I would like the Micron PN pen more than I did and I somehow thought it would be more flexible, but it was actually quite stiff. However, the nib seemed to hold up pretty well though, and I did press a lot and it didn't budge. The gel pen that I used right at the end also worked well to make little dots with. 
Overall, I am pretty pleased with how this piece turned out. It was really fun drawing some new characters and creatures. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and a comment, salty or sweet, whatever you feel like. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and click on the little bell icon to get notified every time I post new art and videos. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Keep drawing my happy cats. Bye.